Hello, my name is Peter Chalmers and I'm a shoulder and elbow surgeon at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City and this is my video on arthroscopic double row rotator cuff repair. What you're going to see here is arthroscopic video. We're looking here from the back of the shoulder. You can see towards the front and towards the inside of the shoulder. And here that's the torn edge of the tendon that I'm manipulating with this spinal needle. You can see all of the inflammation and scar tissue in the shoulder from the tear. This is an instrument called the shaver. And what we're doing here is carefully removing all of that inflammation. This causes pain and it also inhibits us from seeing the tendon so that we can get a perfect repair. So we have to meticulously clean out all of that. That's a, what's called bursitis. We'll also prepare the tendon edge here and then work on top of the tendon to make sure that we have full exposure of the tendon. This is me then pulling the tendon back to where it's supposed to go. You can see it fits perfectly right in that spot. We'll then clear off the bone where the tendon is supposed to be attached, carefully removing all of the, all of the stump of tendon and then pulling that back and then I'm, what I'm going to do here is make a little mark in the tendon so I know exactly where the sutures are supposed to go so I know where the full tendon attachment is. We'll then place anchors, and these are little plastic headless screws. First we punch a little hole in the bone, and then place this screwed in anchor. These are special tendon repair sutures that are reinforced. I've got two anchors here that we're gonna place, and then we'll pass those sutures through the tendon, and that's gonna bring the tendon back down to the bone. So both of our anchors are in here now, and then you'll see me quickly grabbing one suture at a time and then carefully placing each one through the tendon. And um, what I'll do is use this instrument to pass the suture through the tendon and then grab that from the front and repeat this process for all 12 of the sutures that we have here. You can see once I pull that, that it brings the tendon right back down to the bone. Um, we're going we're gonna to fast forward here a little bit because this portion of the operation is meticulous. We'll pass all 12 of those sutures and it's kind of the same thing on repeat. There's the last suture being passed there, and now we've got all 12 sutures passed, and you can see the sutures coming from the anchors up through the tendon and out the front. I'll then grab each suture individually out the side so I can tie them together, which will bring the inside of the tendon down, and then there'll be an outside edge that we'll fix later. So I've already tied one knot, and I'm tying the second knot here. You can see this thing called a knot pressure coming from the side so that I can tie a knot inside the shoulder. And then we'll cut one of those sutures and then bring that suture out the top from where we put the anchors in so that we can get it out of our way. Once all of the knots are tied, which is what I'm going to show you here in a second, now you can see how the inside of the tendon is down, but the outside of the tendon is still flipped a little bit up. It almost looks like there's a little valley there. So we're going to place a second row of anchors on the outside. Usually we're just going to use one here. Occasionally there's enough that we need two, but this, this tear only requires one. So we'll grab each of those sutures and then we're going to bring them down into a second anchor on the side and that'll bring that outside edge of the tendon down and compress the tendon against the bone to help to make sure that it will heal so you can see here me here making sure that i know exactly where that should go we'll punch a little hole in the bone there and then this this anchor is what's called an interference fit anchor which means that once we screw the anchor in, the sutures will compress. So right now the anchor is not yet screwed in, and what I'm going to do is pull tension on the sutures to compress the tendon down against the bone. You can see me working with a probe here to make sure that the tension sutures are spaced so that we, we, we can make a flat surface on the tendon and get, get our compression on the tendon to be nicely distributed across the tendon. So you see me pulling here on those sutures one by one. Once I've got those all pulled, then I can screw in the anchor and set that tension and, 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 and lock it in. One of the things we'll do here is I'm, I like to make sure this anchor is perfectly placed. So you'll see us back up the inserter a little bit here, and then I'll look down and be like, oh, it needs to go in just a little bit farther. So we'll screw that anchor in just a little bit farther to make sure that it's perfect. Then we can remove the, suit, the, uh, the inserter for the anchor and cut the suture tails that are coming out right here. And that'll complete our rotator cuff repair. You can see there we've got the comp tendon nicely compressed down against the bone all the way across its footprint. And then the very last thing that we'll do is we'll, we'll look at the tendon from the other side, from the joint side. And you can see how the tendon comes right down to the surface of the joint and that looks perfect. So I'm happy and we're all done.